No. Yes? No. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Answer is no. Junk. One of the cables must have fell out. Are you looking at logs? <laughs> Hang on. We can all help then. <laughs> I just need to find where this cable goes. Oh wait, maybe I found it. Looks like it feels like this one. And this one goes here. And this one goes here, and this one goes here. possibility left. except today.
No, this isn't working. I'll go have to get the other projector. Um, Faisal, can you go to my office? There's a black bag. You know the bag that has the projector in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this projector is not as powerful, so could you close the blind? Guys, Starry and Cook, can you close that blind behind you? Close. Lucas, can you close that blind? Yeah. And uh, Yusuf? Oh, great. Thank you. Who was in the office? Anyone important? Right. Okay, I think. Well, maybe not that, but uh, the size is okay, I think. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I know it's not as nice as the big projector, but I think it's okay. But I'll turn the light off to help. Now, um, we're looking at... Uh, last time we did... Exponential. Exponential. Don't you have to log? Exponential equations. The next lesson is log equations, isn't it? Let's have a look at that. Did we do log equations? Could you solve, could you solve one question for me? Yeah, which one? Uh, 2 power 2x minus 3 equals 3. You have it? Alright. 2 power... 3x. See that question on the hand. First one. First one. Okay. Equals 3 power 2x minus 1. This one? Yes. Where did you get this one from? Yeah. Oh, it's in the test. Yes. A hard one, right? Yeah. You had to use log logs for this. I use log. Good. I use Good. You want to check your answer? That's okay. I'll do this one later because later today I was planning on doing all the questions on the test. Okay, good. So, we'll get to that later then, okay? But our next lesson is log equations, yeah? Right, so last time we saw how to solve exponential equations. So this time let's have a look at uh, log equations. But before I start, an important thing to note about logs. <coughs> when we deal with logs, it's very important that the x stays positive 
and the base stays positive. So often the very first thing we want to know with logs is when is it defined? Meaning what values of x can you use? So for example, if I said log base 2 5x plus 1, I can't use x, I can't use any x here, right? I can't make the inside negative. So if I want to know when is it defined, I need 5x plus 1 to be more than 0, which means x must be more than minus 1 over 5. This is important because it means that if we get an answer which is not this, then the answer is rejected. Okay, so let's imagine we did some question and we got x equals minus 2. We reject it because it does not meet this condition. You understand? Yeah? So it's a basic question to get started with. And um, let me give you one to try. I want to know when is this defined? Log 2x plus 1 <coughs> tree. So, of course you need 2x plus 1 to be greater than 0, which means x must be greater than minus a half. Yeah? But also, also, we cannot really have the base as 1. 1 as a base doesn't make sense, because if I wrote this, log 1, 5, 1 to what power makes 5? We can't. So it doesn't really make sense to have a base of 1. So we also like to exclude that. So we say 2x plus 1 should not equal 1. So that means x should not equal... Yes, what? 0. Because if x was 0, you would have 1, which you don't want. So we need x to be bigger than minus a half and x to not equal 0. So really, it's all the numbers from minus a half to infinity, except 0. This, word, this means except. <coughs> or you could just write it like this if you wanted to. The uh, couldn't get the projector working after an extreme effort. Uh, I had to resort to using the portable one. Right. It's only working for the computer, but I couldn't get it working on my laptop. I'll send you an email anyways okay. later. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, well, they got to see me try to fix it for 12 minutes. <laughs> I'm sure, it's very interesting. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it was good. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The swearing wasn't so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, right, sorry to interrupt Stephen, I um, just wanted to make uh, a couple of announcements. Um, just to remind you about the fair tomorrow, a really important day, a chance for you to speak directly with the university. And so even if you already have a pretty clear idea of you know, where you want to go um, and what you want to do, it's still a really good idea to mix and talk to the different universities because it's becoming part of the academic network now. Okay, so um, please uh, come tomorrow. Um, and we'll be taking attendance, okay, just so you know. Um, however, there have been a few cases of chickenpox in school recently, okay. The chickenpox um, spreads really, really quickly. Um, it's not so serious in children, but it can be quite nasty in adults, okay. So if you have any symptoms of chickenpox, don't come in, okay. I'm going to send an email with links to websites that will show you what the symptoms are. Um, so, as I say, if you think you might have chicken pox, please don't come in. Okay. Sure. So that's it. Should we?
This is. This, yeah, now there's a couple of people missing here. The where are the Vietnamese students? Are they doing well, something? They're in Cork. They're in Cork. They're okay. They're the, the five of them. Uh, for the one four plus four. the other four. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And Nader. Well, oh, Mary, yes. Yeah. And Nader, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll be emailing everybody on the on the on the track list. So. Uh, so it, it it's good to come. Uh, to go tomorrow and it's a good chance to get some answers to questions directly you know because you could always email universities to get answers but when you have someone right in front of you you can get an answer often straight away so if you have questions about universities that you're thinking about going to tomorrow is the perfect time to ask <coughs> okay. so have, have a think about what you might want to ask as well and it's also true that like, if, you, if you are really interested in the university and you meet somebody face to face and you get their email, you know, if you send them a follow up email, they're going to remember you and they're more likely, you know, you know somebody, you've met them, you have a better rapport and you can build up relationships with, with the universities in that way rather than just be a, you know, a blank canvas. Yeah. Because so some, some of the universities, they, they like to meet the students before they enroll. And it just it makes the application kind of easier, especially if there was an interview or something yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. You know. So anyways, have a think about the questions you would like to ask tomorrow. You'll have a chance uh, after lunch, is it? Uh, yes, the presentation is in the morning. Yeah. And then after lunch, it's the fair. So we've got 24 universities um, and we're coming to you. Um, and it's the same tables and, you know, ask them questions about the courses. Um, it's, a really, it's a really good day. I'm speaking up. I should have started with that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank right. you. Okay. And everybody will be emailed anyway, so those people who are out. Yeah, we'll email everybody yeah. with the chicken pox details. Yeah. And that too. Okay. All right, guys. Now, chicken pox. Hang on a second. <laughs> there are lots of different strains. Okay, so if you have had a strain of chicken pox. No, yeah, see, it's the thing, you know, <laughs> evolution. So you might have had chicken pox before, but it could be a strain that is different enough from the one that you had that you don't have immunity to that one. Okay? No. That's life. It wouldn't be the case that um, from different parts of the world it's probably different strains. I would think Chinese chicken pox is not quite the same as uh, yeah. Saudi chicken pox. Yeah. There must be a slight difference between yeah. them. Because you know the way even when you travel, like, I remember when I, I moved to Asia and I felt quite ill for a couple of months because just in the water, just a different yeah, microbiota. Yeah, it's just, and it's, it's just because it's slightly different. Uh, <laughs> Don't take any chances. Yeah. Don't take any chances. Right, if your do friends have chicken pox, just let them suffer by themselves. Yeah. Don't okay. don't go to help them, okay? okay. Just no chicken food. Yeah, just leave, them yeah. Alone. leave them alone. Leave them alone. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let's have a look at another example here. So, next one. Five power x. Five power x equals four. So this time it's not as easy because we can't change the 5 and the 4 into something that's common. You know, last time we could change the 4 into 2 squared and the 5, well, nothing. But maybe somebody knows what to do here. The yeah, log on both sides. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you get x log 5 equals log 4. So then log or ln? ln log, yeah. Log 4 over log 5. Can you hit that in on the calculator please? Tell me what you get. Uh, can we just put the... You can use the special log, log button on your calculator if it has it. You mean the log 4 5 button? Uh, like bottom, bottom 5, log bottom 5. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if you think about it, this is also saying 5 to what power equals 4? So you could also just do it by using log 5, 4. Yeah. But you get the same answer. Uh, what did you get for this log 4 over log 5? 0 0.8614. Okay. Alright, please write this one down. We'll have <coughs> another example now.
You got it? Yep. Okay, another example. <coughs> 4 power 7x minus 7 equals 7 minus 3x minus 6. Now, the previous examples I did, <coughs> they're a little bit too easy for the exam. This is the first example that is an exam difficulty, exam appropriate question. So this is the type that you might get for the exam. Yes? What? Huh? Yes. We are doing this in the class for the first time. Yep. And it was on the test. Yeah. I'm sorry, did you think the test would be fair? No, I'm not that fair. I let you do the test twice, so I think I'm being more than fair. Some might say no, some might say yes. Uh, true, I did want to throw in a couple of questions that you haven't seen before to see how you would handle it. Which, for example, maybe you would freak out, maybe you would start crying. I just want to know what people would do. Did you start crying? Did you freak out? Good, good. All right. So what do you think I need to do first here? Uh, you could put something else. Yeah? Right. You could put log again. So log here and log here. Yeah. Ln is base E. Yeah. 7x minus 7 log 4 equals minus 3x minus 6 log 7. Then we multiply. 7 log 4x minus 7 log 4 equals minus 3 log 7x minus 6 log 7. Yeah? Is that okay? I just multiply. Yeah. 7 log 4x plus 3 log 7x equals 7 log 4 minus 6 log 7. 7 log 4 plus 3 log 7x equals 7 log 4 minus 6 log 7. So x equals 7 log 4 minus 6 log 7 over um, 7 log 4 plus 3 log 7. Seven log four minus six log seven <coughs> over seven log four plus three log seven minus zero point one two seven. What did I use? And, um, so, what do you think you should use? No, we didn't. I used LN. Now, in fact, you will get the same answer. Because there was nothing about this method that required the base E. It just required a log. So, in fact, log of any base would have worked. Yes? Uh, I used the log plus E method by putting in not log 2 in the bottom. Log base 2? Yeah, so I can get rid of 4. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, now I get that, yeah. Yeah, but I got a slightly different number, but the test would I be accepted? How slight? Like, uh, minus 0 0.125. Oh, that might be a little bit too far. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see. <laughs> Maybe there's something you could do to improve your accuracy. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, write this one down, please. This is an exam style question. <laughs> so they expect us to use log e. Yeah, that's what they're expecting. Uh, okay. So, where is Omar? Ah, he must care a little bit. Ah, he's such a nice guy. You have to care where he is. No. Omar, if you can hear me. Yeah, we care about. We miss you. We nobody knows where he is. No. Why didn't he come to school? That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh, okay. oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Did you say you only have two hours of maths today? Mm, so he taught. He woke up this morning and said, uh, three hours of Stephen or stay in bed? Bed. But if you only watch the videos, then you can't ask questions. Yeah, okay. Okay, guys, can I. Have you got that? Yeah. Not yet? <coughs> Oh, you wrote log 7 over log 4? Yeah, <coughs> and then the x bracket x is 1 over the other. Okay. So then, I realized I would get stuck after, so I left it and went to the next one. <laughs> Good call. I, I, I forgot to expand the bracket. Do you have, uh, yes, that would be a problem. Yeah. Do you have this now? No. Yusuf, where are you? Wait, is, are we only waiting for Yusuf? Oh. Maybe, maybe not. No, I'm sorry, Yusuf. <coughs> right, next one. 9e2x minus 3ex minus 6 equals 0. Well, obviously, the first thing I should do is divide by 3. 3e2x minus ex minus 2 equals 0. Okay? Now, I don't know if this has factors. I feel like it doesn't. Let me just b squared minus 4, 8. No, I don't think this has factors. What type of equation is this? Quadratic. Quadratic. Except, instead of x, it's ex. But it's still a quadratic. It does have uh, Does it? Yeah. Nice. What are the factors? One and minus zero over three. These are the roots. Yes. So then that means x equals log one or x equals log minus two over three. This we reject. And this we accept. This is the answer. Okay. And we did something like this last time, I think, didn't we? I think so. Yeah. Oh, Yusuf, I think we did. Yeah, we did. <coughs> Is it possible you weren't listening to me at the time? I was absent on a day, so it might be that day. You were absent one day? I thought it was only yesterday. Oh, okay. Did he? No, he didn't. Yesterday, the classes you missed. Did you watch the videos at home? Well, ah, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just let me know when you watch them. True, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Okay, can I do another one? Do you have this? Yep, okay. Now on to something harder. <coughs> 
log base mm, minus 7 <coughs> log base 2 x plus log x 8 minus 6. The first thing I should do is say when the x is defined or when the log is defined. So x here absolutely must be positive and really we don't want x to be 1 either. <coughs> I need this to be positive because it's in the log and I don't like 1's here for basis. Okay. What is the main problem here? Well, the main problem is that the x is in both the base and the argument. But before I deal with that, I'm going to clean up that 8. I'm going to change it into 2 cubed. And what can I do with the tree? I can bring it down. So I get minus 7 log 2x plus 3 log x2 equals minus 6. Now, what would be the best thing to do to solve my problem of the x not being in the same place? Yeah, using which formula though? One over Yeah. The one that lets me swap. <coughs> so which one do I want to swap? Well, I don't know. It feels a little bit more natural to, to uh, have the x in the argument. So I'll swap this one and it'll be log 2x equals minus 6. Great, but now what? What should I do next? Five. Yeah, so this will be minus 7 log 2x squared plus 3 equals minus 6 log 2x. If I take everything to the right, I get 7 log 2x squared minus 6 log 2x minus 3 equals 0. And it's a quadratic. I have a question. Yes. Can't we add the two logs now that since they have the same base? Which two logs? Yep. Add these? Yep. How? And then make it log base 2 x times x over 3. What? What rule are you using there? But the logs aren't on the same level. One is in the denominator. Um, let's see what roots this has. Mode 53, 7, minus 6, and minus 3. So we have ugly answers. Um, 3 plus root 30 over 7. Or the second one will be 3 minus root 30 over 7. This is log base 2x equals and log base 2x equals. So nearly finished. Only one thing left to do. I want to get the x. So what would the x here be? Yeah, 2 to the power of this. And x here is 2 to the power of this. Now, we said x should be positive. Is there a mistake? No. We said x should be positive. Are these answers positive? Yes. We also said x shouldn't be 1. Are any of these answers 1? No. So both answers are accepted. Okay, write this one down, please. You said no, sir, uh, 
<laughs> yep. Yep. Let's do another one of these since they're a bit hard. <coughs> oh yeah, we're going to do one of those. I'm leaving that one to the end. Okay, can I scroll down? Are we just waiting for Faisal? No. Looks like a Faisal. <coughs> Scrolling down. Wait. wait, did someone else say wait other than Faisal? Yeah. All right. Two's enough. Oh, <coughs> All right, sorry Faisal. Your comrade has left. What's up? You feeling better? Remember. Remember yesterday you were sick? Yeah. Feeling better? Yeah. Were you sick yesterday? Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I would like, I don't You're very convincing. <laughs> you went home sick? Yeah. Just before my class? Well, I had an exam, so I had to apparently I don't like that. Oh, I see. I see. Did you only miss my class yesterday? <laughs> what test was yesterday? I know that's a weak subject for you, so you probably didn't want to miss the test. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. <coughs> Can I scroll down now? <coughs> yes? Okay, let's have a look at another one of these. <coughs> um, log base 2, 8x plus 1, minus log base 4, 9x minus 9, equals 3. The problem here is the bases are different. We have a 2 and we have a 4. So we should change, firstly, we should change that base into log base 2. But what's the price I pay for doing that? Uh, not quite as much as 10. I just have to divide by log base 2 of 4. This is the last rule of log, or this is rule 5 of logs. So now I have log base 2, 8x minus 4, minus um, a half <coughs> log base 2, 9x minus 9 equals 3. Actually, I'm sorry, I forgot to say at the start, I need x to be bigger than minus 1 over 8, and x to be bigger than... One. Is this an and or or? And. So if I need x to be bigger than minus 1 over 8 and x to be bigger than 1, then what do I really need? Yeah. So I need x to be bigger than 1. Okay, let's continue. What should I do next? Hmm, when I'm dividing? What do you mean? I'm supposed to divide by the whole Are we looking at here to here? No, 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 the one before. Like, I the line second line. I use the fifth rule of logs, which lets me change the base. I change the base of the second log. Oh, that's just, that's just good old-fashioned bad handwriting. Um, 
that should not suddenly change from a 1 to a 4 wire. I, my plus made me think it was a 4. No, what? One That's terrible. Plus <laughs> 1. Plus oh. 1. Thank you. And uh, when you move it, when you divide the log to, to make it log 2, why do you only divide it by log 2? Now that's the fifth rule. If you want to change the base from a 2 to a 4, then the price you pay is you divide by... Yeah. Okay, what should I do next? I think I'll multiply everything by 2. Ah, why not? Correct. Now, what should I do next? Mm, uh, give me an action. You can just take the coefficient of the log and make it in the power. Yeah. So I can bring the 2 up to the power now. And then which rule of log should I use next? One of minus 6. Wait, which rule? One to six, which rule? <coughs> Second rule. So this is now log base two, eight x plus one squared over nine x minus nine equals six. Correct, yeah. Two power six equals eight x plus one squared over nine x minus nine. 2, 4, 8, 16, 64, is it? 64? 64 equals 64x squared plus 16x plus 1 when you expand. So then next we get 64 times 9x minus 9 equals 64x squared <coughs> plus 16x plus 1. 64 times 9 is 640 minus 64, <coughs> which is 576. 576x minus 576 equals 64x squared plus 16x plus 1. Hey, 64x squared plus minus 560x plus 577. There's no chance that that has roots, is there? Uh, it's possible. I just can't remember if past Stephen made these questions have nice roots. Does it have nice roots? They have rules, but they're not nice. Ah, okay. I can live with that. What's the first root? 75. Yeah. Plus or minus 18. Root 18? No, 18. 18. All over. Eight. And can you give me that as a decimal? Oh. 7.55. Okay, so this one is acceptable. That's also acceptable. A hard question, I know, but this is what they're like in the exam, I'm afraid to tell you. The what now? Yes. You divide by like where does the fourth like you divide by x? Ah. Like log the base two and the is four and then where does the fourth go? What what what's log what is log two for? Uh, two to what yeah. So <coughs> see where I wrote the half. I have one more example to show you.
you have this? I know this my I love John Elliot. Great. Okay. Continue. Uh, we're waiting for two. What else? Hmm? What else? Coffee. Uh, I've got a few sips here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I so tone it down. Tone it down. I'm so sick and I'm so tired. You're like here. And I need you to be like here. I mean energy level. Okay, you got that now? Alright. Lastly, terms like this are we listening, guys? <coughs> Terms like this, it's actually possible to write them in this form. Where the A and the B is some number. The reason you might want to do this is because later you will discover it's more convenient to have it in this form. For example, if we write it in this form, we automatically know what the graph looks like because we looked at graphs of this. Mm -hmm. So my point is it's convenient to do this and uh, let's learn how to do this. So the first step to do, uh, we should do is pull out the 4. So that would be 2, 4, 2 minus 9x. 2 power 4 is 16, isn't it? So we kind of have the A already. This is kind of like the A. But what are we missing? We're missing an E, aren't we? Yeah. So there's a trick here. You can put in an E log 2 to the minus 9x. Because I think I said this. Now if I didn't say it, I'm saying it now. And I'm saying it again if I did say it. E log x equals log E x, which equals x. Because they cancel. For example, look at this one, log e x. That equals log base mm -hmm. e, e, x. So e to what power makes e x? x? X, obviously. So in other words, e and log cancel when they're together. So if I return... No, 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 the battery. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's cheap, but it's I not that cheap. <laughs> <laughs> when I bought this new in Tesco like four years ago, it, I spent like 250. Um, Tesco, yes. <coughs> and just think about how much it does. You know, it records the lessons, yeah. it uploads them, it, it has a calculator on it. I know, yeah. All right. So are you happy with that E and log cancel? So E and log cancel and we're still left with the same thing. What can I do with the minus 9x? This minus 9x. Where can I move this? Yeah, where now? In front of the log or in front of the E? <coughs> In front of the log. No, it does. It does. It only goes down in front of the uh, in front of the log, because whenever you have a log with a power <coughs> like this, the power goes in front of the log. So that's important. So I can change this into 16. Now, because these are just being multiplied, I can reorder them because it's only multiplied. So because of that, I can change this into minus 9 log 2x. And what is this number here? That's like the b. Let's calculate it. <coughs> minus 9 log 2. Minus 6.238.
Now to prove to you that these are the same, <coughs> even though they look very different, let's put in a value of x. Let's put in x is 1. So if x is 1 here, this will be 2 to the power of minus 9 plus 4. So minus 9 plus 4? Minus 5. 2 power minus 5, 2, 4, 8, 6, 1 over 32. Let's see what we get for the other side. Let me just type that in. 0 0.03125. <coughs> okay, let's put in x is 1 on the other side and see what we get. 16 e power minus 6.238. <coughs> Pretty close. 0 0.03126. The reason it's not perfect is because I converted it like this. If I kept it like this, it'd be exactly right. Watch. Um, shift E power minus 9. Uh, where's my log 2? And what's the x? It's 1. So... Uh, oh, and of course I forgot to multiply by 16. Whoa. I get the exact answer. So the reason it's not exact is because I rounded. <coughs> this is a useful trick. It's quite helpful later in the course. Um, so please write this one down. That is only an example at the end here. Uh, can you explain once more with the, like the 2 power minus 9x turning to e ln 2 power 9 Ah, uh, which line? Like on third line. How, how I got it? Yeah, second line turning into third line. <coughs> There's a trick. You can say e log x is equal to x. X. x equals x. Like, like this. Like this one. Expand. No, e to the power of log x. Oh. Like this. I cannot make out what you're writing. <laughs> like, like this. E power log x is equal to x. So if you had 2, you can write that as E log 2 if you wanted to. No, th this is the answer here. I just used an example to show you that it's the same. But no, this is this is the answer, or this is the answer, if you want to run. No, 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 I'm just putting in a value of x to show you it's the same. The base of this log is 10. No, it's e. Oh. Yeah. Got that? Yeah? Can I close this? And what's that? 2 to the power of minus 9x plus 1. 2 to the power of minus 9? <coughs> yeah, it is. Okay, do you have this? What's going on down the back? Nothing? Nothing. Alright, let me give you some questions to do. So, Questions, let me write them down. So number one, if you could do... P, Q, number two. 
we can do T U number three if you can do Y Z number four if you can do H I number five if you can do H I and then six S T Z you can start them now for a couple of minutes and then uh, we'll have a look at some of the exam questions Question about logs. Okay. <coughs> Can I close this? Well, let me just stop the video at least.